Okay, number two, this is a Tyree transformateur, came out of a shell as well. And uh, see, the nameplate is pretty crap on this thing. 200 KVR, bit hard to read. It was removed in uh, Oranga on a Honga. Pretty standard design, option for bushings on the outside, but it got a link box on the right hand side. I'll show you shortly. Well, that's the box there, and it had the connections inside there. Serial number 2580, item number 74, would be 1974 install. Going up nearly 50 years. Blue, yellow, red, neutral. HV red, yellow, blue. HV test on this because they've got the cable and it's too hard to get co good contact to this cable here. I could put the PK screw in there. I'll just do an LV, but I actually de energized this device while well, I was involved in this job and it was in service, so this should be all in good condition. LV running only on this one. 500 volts on the device. Energized device. You see, this is a lot lower reading than the other transformator here. Yeah? Still good. Uh, it's not too much lower actually. It's 5, say 6 on the meg. We probably get out of this device. 693 Mega Omega, it's pretty good. Long and Crawford and a couple of other 750s. Doing an installation test on this, we're going to look at the serial numbers. 500 kVA, 11.6.6, 83. Tyree. I hope the device is recording all the details. Dusty environment, and here's number two transformateur that looks a bit cleaner. The switch on it, upgrade. Transformer one, transformer number two. We have got this scrapyard. Yeah. Come on, history. Cool. Oh yeah, another one. Another terminations. Twin LE, three hundred mil, something like that. We've got a venting pipe on the top too, but it's plugged off. Similar. Check my leads, so I've got a good earth. A couple of volts. Well, I had to improvise a bit, but hopefully, this makes contact. I put a square screw in here. And we're going to do the test and see if it works. And it does mega. And the glare out of this thing. Come on, you thing. Go for one minute. Six lot Maggie. Seven hundred. It's 69. The energized mega. HV2LV can use the neutral because it's star connected in the inside coil. Mm. 
It'll be about the same reading. About 8, 830, 840 mega ohms. So it's a pass. LV to ground. Change the range to 500 volts. Energize device. Bit of glare here. Yeah, that's better. One giga will do. These are all the, the universal type transformers. They can put bushings in the top, put it on a pole or outside. Uh, and just put a, a link box on the side with heat shrunk terminations, or they can fill it up with tar seal, gunk, or something like that. Not going to bother with those. This actually got two filling devices. It's got a bit more rust on top, but I'm not going to open it up. The cable is uh, being cut with a hex, or so you're going to get crap readings. Well, the others look quite cool on these things. Oh yeah, these transformers will have two chip changes too. I didn't discuss that before. So you've got two chip changes. You've got one selector for your 11 and your 6.6, .6, so that's locked in in 11 kV. That's your tippings for your winding. And the same applies to this transformer as well. So yeah, you are being for smoke if you put it on the wrong setting. Things will burn out. Thanks for watching. Godalco 2007, New Zealand. Arms on there. Oh. Got my doc colleague to help out. Red to yellow, so we'll see what reading we get here now. Hold it on. 9 ohms, 8.9 .9 ohms, 8.8 .8 ohms. Yeah, okay. You can go red to blue, please. Red to blue. Red to blue. This is on the 150 kVA transformateur. 8.8 the same, yeah, and yellow to blue please. Yellow to blue. That's on the 150. Holding this in one hand is not ideal, but it should be alright. Yep. It's not making contact. No? Yeah, it's making contact. 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, perfect. Thank you.